What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert. And in today's video, I wanted to do a real quick tip about a shortcut that I like to use on a regular basis. And that is adding tracks. Now, whether that's mono tracks, stereo tracks, or instrument tracks, I can very quickly, easily add tracks as I want just by using some shortcuts that I've mapped out. This is incredibly easy. All we really need to do here is we just need to go into the Studio One keyboard shortcuts menu and then we can find it a couple different ways. So for example, for the mono track, I could just go to mono. And now you can see under the track sub menu over here, we have add audio track mono. Now I've gone ahead and mapped it out to something that works for me. Now we also have stereo tracks available and I've gone ahead and mapped that out as well. And then we also have instrument tracks available. If I can just spell it correctly over here. So I've gone ahead and I've mapped out these functions for adding tracks, which makes it very easy for me when I'm doing a session. If I need a quick couple mono tracks or I want to do some work and I need a work track, I can very quickly just add something like this. Now, a couple other different ways that we can do this. I'm sure most of you know we have this option over here, this little plus icon. When we click that, we have the add tracks dialog box. And then we can go through and we can choose the count, uh, the type, the color, we can give it a name, we can choose presets, input, output, ascending, and that's great, uh, but sometimes it's a little too much. Sometimes I just need a track to work on really quickly. Now the other option is if we click in this gray empty space below here, right in this section, if I right click, I also have some options here to add uh, tracks, stereo, mono, instrument tracks, automation track, folder track, uh, tracks for all, inputs, bus, VCA, etc. But for me, quite often, I just want to pull up a quick stereo track. So for example, if I'm importing some loops and I wanted to add a stereo track, so I could just do that quickly, then I could go ahead and just name this beat. And then I could just go to my loops file over here and I could bring in whatever loops I want, drag them in the track and they would have this track name versus having the loop name. So just a really simple quick tip, and that's simply just adding some shortcuts for the menu options that we have in track, just going into your keyboard shortcuts and mapping something out to them. It's a shortcut that I find to be incredibly useful, and I use it every single day. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.